Hi, this is Craig with Mobile Monkey. Today we're going to talk about our form widget, another pro feature. I'm going to give you a quick overview of it. We're going to set one up and we're going to do a live example and show you how it works. All right, let's get going. All right, we're talking about our pro form widget. This is a great feature where you can get data really easily, uh, much better than a form on a landing page or a website, more conversational, and uh, you're able to capture data in a very specific way, and I'm going to show you that right now. So we've got all our dialogues here, and we're going to go to schedule. So if someone wants to schedule a service with the repair shop, we have a form here and we've got different questions that we're asking them, different options, you know, what, when can they, when do they want to schedule the repair, the date and the time, then information about their car, you know, what's the year, what's the make, what's the model, and then we're gonna ask them to describe what is the actual repair that's needed, and then we're gonna have them verify their email and their phone number. So what's cool about this form widget is, you know, you can get, you can do all of these things, but you can also collapse these and then you can drag them. So let's say I wanted the time in front of the day. I can drag it so I can organize it a little bit better after I've built it. Maybe I thought, think this, this should be before or after. And then you can also add new questions. So if I click add a question, then I can add a new question. You've got some different options, a text option. This is where people will actually type in the message or the answer to your question. If you choose multi, that's gonna give you multiple answers. So you can put multiple values like how we have the uh, time here, we've got multiple multiple times here um, you can choose email if you, you just want them to leave their email their phone number and their location so those are the options another thing we have is if you use text you can choose a validation so you can say email so if you're asking them to type in their email it's going to make sure that they type an actual email like joe at domain.com so that's how you you can validate for all these different things here and then you've got conversions so what this is is if you let's say someone fills out this form and you want to know when someone gets to the email you can you consider that a conversion so if you click on the button here as soon as someone puts in their email, that's gonna count as a conversion. So you can put that you know, anywhere in the form and you'll be able to see you know, where your conversions are at. So we're gonna delete this one because when this is pink, it means there's a problem. So if you click this, it says attribute cannot be empty. So it's basically saying that this can't be empty, so the form's not gonna work. So we're gonna delete that and you're going to see that it turns white because we've got all of the form information in here. Now we're also going to use the email pro feature here which we talked about in another video to send all this information that is filled out here to to an email so for example it can go to the mechanic um, in charge to you know verify the information call them you know and make sure everything's good to go so what we're gonna do now is we're going to demo this form just so you can see it in real life how your subscribers are gonna see it so in order to demo this we're just gonna hit test dialog right here and that's gonna open in our repair bot here and as you can see it's asking me to select a day I'm gonna choose Monday and then it's saying what time, I'm gonna say 10 a.m. And what year is your vehicle, 2011. It is a Dodge. And it is a Viper. 
and the repair needed is the tires are bald. Please verify your email. And I'm gonna verify my email and my phone number. And I put that funny little GIF there. You don't have to put that, but you can put, you know, you can change that out if you want to. We'll be in touch, and then you can go back to the main menu. So now we've filled out the form, it's all good to go. Now let's go to my email and see if the email was sent. All right, so here I am in my email. You can see that this repair request came in. It says you have a repair request, Craig Cameron Jr. Smart Size phone number, availability. Monday at 10 a.m. It is a 2011 Dodge Viper repair needed. The tires are bald. So it sent the email. You got the lead. Everything's good to go. That is how the Pro Form Widget works. If you have any questions at all, you can send a message to our group or send an email to support at mobilemonkey.com. Thanks.